This is the video for lesson 6.7, inverse trig graphically. Now we're gonna do all six trig functions, including their three reciprocal functions. So a lot of this you should probably be able to figure out on your own. Um, they want us to draw a specific type of line to represent the equation cosecant of theta equals negative one. And so what I want you to remember is that cosecant is really the reciprocal of um, sine. <clears throat> and then, um, so we need to change this to be the reciprocal. And with one, we can't make a reciprocal one. So sine of theta would still be negative one. And since this is y values, any equation that has y equals a number cuts through the y axis. So it's a horizontal type of line. And we're just gonna drag it until it goes through at negative one, which is all the way down here at the bottom. So it's interesting to see the yellow points are really the angles. There's always two until I get down to this point and there's only one. <clears throat> and they only give me one box here for an answer. So on this coordinate plane, remember this is 270 degrees, and you could do that on your calculator where you take, here, I'll show you over here. Remember how to change degree whoop, degrees? You take it times pi over 180. We always want the same units to be diagonal for each other, so it's like they cancel out. So really all you're doing is simplifying 270 over 180 and tagging a pi on the end. And so I could cancel the zeros, divide by a nine, so that would be three halves, three pi over two, which we also know from the unit circle. <clears throat> okay, let's pick a secant. Remember secant is the reciprocal of cosine. And so we want to reciprocate this function and say cosine of an angle needs to equal negative We'll flip this and have three over two square roots of three. You'd have to rationalize the denominator, so multiply by square root of three over square root of three, and that gets you negative three square roots of three over two times a normal three, because three times three, that'd be square root of nine, back to three. Um, but what's also happening is these threes can cancel out now or afterwards. I might want to do it now, and so that's really negative square root of three over two. <clears throat> okay, and so um, cosine, remember that is x values. And when it's x equals a number, it's a vertical line because it goes through the x-axis. We wanna be negative and cosine is negative when x is negative back here in quadrants two and three. And so since it's on a unit circle, we should know what um, reference angle that is. Remember this first dot is a 30 degree angle. So we're 30 degrees back from a 180. 180 minus 30 would put us at a 150. And then 30 degrees plus 180 would be 210. And so you could turn those into radians really easily. You could also get your unit circle out and look. <clears throat> and we see that's at five pi over six and seven pi over six. And so you'd put those in. And then the last one I wanna look at is cotangent. All right, right now we have cotangent of an angle needs to equal square root of three over three. You should get to where you know that anytime I wanna reciprocate square root of three over three, it's simply square root of three. If you wanna do the work, you can. You could flip it. You'd have to rationalize. You get three square roots of three over a normal three and they cancel out. So this, um, as a reciprocal is this. These are reciprocals of each other. But anyway, so I'm trying to do tangent of square root of three. Remember tangent's the hardest one because it's a y over x relationship. So we wanna pick a diagonal line and they don't give us values. We have to know what's happening. And so what I would like to think is, for one, I have this memorized, I know what angle tangent is square root of three? It's a 60, a 60 degree angle. Um, if you don't know it, you're gonna have to think of y divided by x. So if I went up square root of three over two, let's see if I can squeeze this on here, and I'm gonna divide it by the x value, which is one half, right? Because y divided by x, but I'm gonna actually multiply by the reciprocal of two over one. I see those two canceling out. And so I see that I'm going up a square root of three over one. 
is my slope. But anywho, um, we said that's a 60 degree angle. And so a 60 degree reference here would be 180 plus 60, which would be 240. And then again, you can use your unit circle if you want to look at the radians. Uh, 60 degrees is a third of a 180, so pi over 3, or uh, 4 pi over 3 would be your two answers.